Well, Jeremy, obviously, you know, got, got to bounce back and got to do it pretty quickly this week. Uh, you guys have been pretty good at it in the past. What's the key to you know moving forward and, and, and getting off of a loss quickly? Uh, just getting back to practice and working hard, being prepared for the game Friday. What was uh, today like, first time out there with you know full practice since the game? It was good. We had a lot of energy, and we got after it today. What, uh, you know, offensively, what would you guys take away from the New Mexico game? Was there something in particular you guys said, hey, we need to get better at this? You just got to finish in the red zone, no turnovers in the red zone. And there's no turnovers, period. And finish in the red zone with touchdowns. Obviously, you had one of those. What, uh, what, what happened on that play? I uh, just, it was my fault. Just got out, uh, catch the ball and secured it. It was one of those days where people are having trouble catching the football. I mean, does it does it get contagious? Does it? I mean, when, when that's going on around the team, did, I mean, does it get in your head a little bit? Or uh, no, I wouldn't say that. It's just we just got to make plays and make sure we catch the ball every time we have the opportunity to. Doing something on the uh, um, the way defenses have been approaching you guys, and you know, a bunch of them have taken this kind of blitz and put a bunch of guys in the box approach, and, and you, you, know, you end up picking up blitzes instead of running with the ball. Probably, what what has it been like facing these defenses that are you know coming after you guys so much? Oh, we have answers for it, and uh, that's to get it to our guys on the outside to make plays if the box is heavy, and then when we get them uh, the ball out there, then start lining up the box, and then we run the ball. So we have answers for it. For you, how frustrating is it that you know teams are, you know, if they, they're going to put that many guys in the box, it, it kind of takes you away a little bit. It's not too frustrating. It's just that's just how the game's going to go. And uh, if I got a block, I got a block. If I got to run the ball, I just want to get the win. How much better have you gotten at the the, the blitz pickup? I got a lot better. Um, just communicating with the offensive line during the week and offensive coaches. So uh, I know blitzes are coming in certain situations. Where were you for last year's Air Force game? Because that was the last game I believe that you, that you redshirted for. Were, were, you, were you there for that game? No, I wasn't there at all. I was back in Boise, Washington, actually. What, what, what were your kind of thoughts on that game? And uh, I mean, everything kind of changed quickly for you after that game. Uh, I was last year. I was kind of shocked, but uh, I mean, it's our wins and losses come down to the turnover battle. And last year we lost the turnover battle and. We lost the game, so this year we just gotta make sure we don't turn the ball over and uh, go our way. Yeah, and you, for your, uh, up until you know Nevada or uh, excuse me, UNLV, you know, you, I don't think you had lost a fumble in, in your career in back-to-back -back weeks with one. Does, does, it, does it make you just kind of uh, I don't know, change things or just kind of re-emphasize things at all with, with how you know, you're carrying the rock? Uh, yeah, I just gotta make sure. I, Got six points of pressure during contact. Make sure I look the ball all the way in, and uh, I'll be fine during the week. What do you see out of this year's Air Force uh, defense? I mean, they're one of the better units in the country. I uh, see that they're really disciplined, and uh, they don't make many mistakes, and they are one of the best defenses that we have played all year and that we're going to play. So we just got to go in there uh, with a positive attitude and play hard against these guys. Uh, kind of a different question, but uh, I always notice every game that you're, you're one of the first guys out there, and it seems like you have a very specific and kind of extended routine. Where did you come up with that? Uh, it's like, just like, a, I came up with it from track. So I just want to make sure my muscles are ready to go, my body's ready to go, hydrated, and uh, yeah, it's ready to go for the whole game. Is, is there anything you specifically try to hit on there? I mean, like I said, you're out there for a while. It's like kind of working sweat throughout the process as well. Yeah, I want to get a sweat going just to get my body warm. I'm going to make sure my hamstrings and hips are really loose. And yeah, just to get, get going. Is that kind of the moment you used to, to get focused as well? I mean, like I said, you're, you're kind of out there by yourself for a while. Yeah, I just like to visualize and think about what I have to do for the game and get my body ready and get going. If I remember right, they, they uh, defended the run against you guys pretty well last year. I know they've been playing well defensively this year. What, what do they do against the run that's made them effective? They play in their gaps really well. And uh, the safeties also make key tackles. And uh, they make tackles on the perimeter so guys can't get free. And they also get to the ball as a unit. When teams are loading up against run, obviously you guys are still going to try to run it in those situations. What, what does it take to be successful when running the ball against a defense that's kind of loading up against the run? Well, just as a running back, you got to break tackles. Basically, it. Yeah. Kind of the pros and cons of it. I mean, if teams are bringing numbers and you can break a tackle, then that means there's 
less guys down the field or whatnot. I mean, is, is that the trade off? Yeah, it is. If you can get past that first and second second level, there's nobody else behind there, and maybe six. Yeah, so you just uh, we talked about for the first time this weekend. I know that you talked last week about how your roommate and whatnot, but. Um, Harson called him called him a leader, and that was one of the reasons why he decided to let us talk to the media this week. What, what have you seen of his, you know, of his leadership qualities as he's progressed throughout his first year here at Boise State? Um, he's really taken over the offense and really got the guys going and can motivate us as an offense. And uh, we all have confidence in him and what he can do for the team. So he is a leader on the team. Sweet.